for a long time I felt like suppressing my culture and hiding that part of my identity, trying to assimilate and be as American as possible. What does that really mean? Because I thought America was the melting pot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I wanted us to spend some time on today is your experience growing up as an Asian American here in the US. Okay. Yeah. Cool? Cool. I'm down. For first sure. Are we ready to roll? God dang. <laughs> Alright guys. Hey, what's up? Uh, so we're gonna do things a little different this time. This is one of my, uh, I guess, ideas as well. Um, ultimately, I like, want to include friends. We're friends. Oh fuck. This is, gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. So we have a special guest today. This is my buddy Win or Naguyen. Nagin. Nagin. I hate that. Okay. The end is silent, okay? You cannot do it to say W-I-N win or W-H-E-N win. That's fine. So my buddy here flew in from Seattle hey. just to visit. 206. Uh, I was supposed to spend a week with him. Kind of had to cut it a little short. Uh, some of the closer friends that know me know what's up, but I just celebrated my birthday. Win for guy, which is okay. I didn't forget. What's uh, my birthday, bitch? I don't know. See? That's a good, that's a good See? point. So, that's it's, point. it's even now. I'm taking out for dinner today. When is it? We're good. When's your birthday? Now you never know. Hey, fair enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, recently just found out that my grandpa is in the ICU. So, this is kind of sobering for me. But, uh, he's in the ICU. Had to take an emergency trip, emergency trip to Taiwan. So, we're going to cut our little uh, week date a little short. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to kick off this channel as well. Just, I don't know. Um, that kind of made me rethink a lot of things, like live a life with no regrets. That's something that Wynn uh, Win. taught me as well. And let's talk about that. Let's do it. All right, so uh, our, our internet friends probably want to know. Um, just tell us a little more about you. They know you're from Seattle. Okay. What's up? Sounds good. Well, my name is Wynn. I'm Vietnamese, spelled N-G-U-Y-E-N. Yes, that's the last name that most people get used to, but if you were to write it and read it, it's actually very different. It's Nguyen, it's the last name. Either way, it's not caught up in that name. <laughs> Just wanted to put it out there the second time. I am a remote happiness engineer at a tech company. Yes, I actually have a card, like business card that says I'm a happiness engineer, so I'm not BSing you. This is for real. And I work remotely, meaning that I work literally, well, I don't have an office, I don't go to an office, so mostly I work from home. Or if I'm traveling, I work at a place that have a plug, an internet connection, and hopefully a table and a chair. And then I'm, I'm, I'm good to go for that day. I love to travel, just go see different things, connect with new people. I play tennis competitively in the United States. I met a lot of famous people. Gordon Ramsay is one of them. <laughs> but we can go back to that more later if we have a chance. And yeah, that's a little bit, more, uh, that's a little bit about myself in a nutshell. Dude, so, awesome. Thank you, Azai, for inviting me today. <laughs> it's it's fun to be, you know, just helping a brother out. Just talk about stuff. Dude, appreciate it too, because yeah. look guys, like, like I could sit here and tell you what I know. I think you guys want to hear from other perspectives, from people that are older than us, people from different backgrounds, different religion, ethnicity, age, like you name it. Different um, occupations. Um, I don't know, we were talking about this in the car, and like at the end of the day, I keep saying at the end of the day, but... Uh, it's almost the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know, like, we all have different journeys and paths in life, but we're not that different from each other, right? We go through a lot of the same things, um, and that's kind of why we're doing this, just so you guys know what's up. Hopefully some things we talk about today resonate with you. So, Wynn and I, do you remember how we met? It's, it's a funny story, because the, the company I work at, there's not a lot of Asian population. <laughs> I was there before Isaiah, and new hire day came. And there was an email of the, the mugshot of all the people that starting. And I was scrolling, scrolling, I'm like, oh, look, there's a handsome Asian guy that's, that's, <laughs> that's joining us. And I don't feel like, I feel like I can connect to someone. When you are in a setting where there's a lot of majorities and you can find someone that you connect with physically, just at like looks or height or whatever, it's you immediately have that bond with that person. 
even if you never know that person, mm. you just you just look at them like, oh, I feel friendlier looking at this guy, even though I don't know him. It's you know it's, it's a human psychology thing, I, I believe. You know. Um, you know what that's called? What is that? Called called? Racial profiling. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, either way, I, I think I think I had reached out to me on uh, on a message. Slack, yeah. Slack, and he just like, I don't know you, but <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm like, hey man, you know what? When I'm in town for our company meet meetup, let's 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 hang and. I think our, our friendship started from the outbreak. Dude, and the, re hey, the rest is history. And the rest is history. Spread love. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny because uh, we had an all company retreat, and I was like, oh, snap, like, when's gonna be in town? Mm -hmm. We hadn't met yet. Um, saw him on the office for, uh, office space, of course, like any other startup company. We kind of have like this open workspace, and I see him, and then we're like, oh, oh buddy! Sam. Literally, in my mind, I was thinking I gotta find this Isaiah guy, <laughs> just like give him a hug. So that's exactly what we did. We were just super excited to see each other, yeah. even though we never met. But that's romance is strong. That's that. <laughs> cool. One thing I wanted us to spend some time on today is your experience growing up as an Asian American here in the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm down. For first sure. Yeah, so one thing that I want to ask you, like I have my own thoughts on this, um, but I was born in America. Okay. Right? And you were not. I was not. So wanted, we have two different perspectives here. I think that would make me second gen, that'd make you first gen. I'm Asian American. No, I, I got you, I got you, but in terms of immigration, like he actually immigrated here, I'm second generation. I have to ask to become an American. Is what happened. That's a whole nother process too. <laughs> like we've talked about this before. Like maybe in a different video, we'll talk about how difficult uh, it is to become a citizen here in the U.S. and kind of all the hoops you have to jump through. But first, I'm gonna drop some numbers. I promise that we'd have some numbers. Let me ask you this, okay? Yeah. Statistically speaking, yeah. Mm, what percentage of Americans are Asian? Okay, now let's. Be really specific because Asian could be Russian. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. South Indian, you know, Indian uh, population. Oh my God, we're not getting into that granular. Just, okay, just you talk about the people that 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 have same facial features as you know, what you meant to say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, excuse me. Hey, we're filming in here. God damn, ladies, please. Okay. No. Hey. No. 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 Hey, you no. guys can. You wanna come say hi? Come yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Asian American, <laughs> whatever, whatever that label is. Uh, yes. Give me either a number, how many millions, or a percentage mm. of the total U.S. population is Asian. I would say ten percent of the ten percent. Ten percent of the of the American population. Of the U.S. population. So, guys, ten percent. What's your guess? Hit us up in the comments. Make your wild guess. Now's the answer. <laughs> All right. So the answer is according to according to World Population Review in 2019, and this last number was taken a couple days ago. Um, 5.6 percent of the entire U.S. population wow, is Asian American. Hmm. Right, so here's the stats. I'll pop it up as well. 5.6. Uh, 5.6 percent of the total population. That's impossible. That's, I thought, I that's thought we pretty take, low. I thought we'd taken over America. <laughs> slowly, slowly, <laughs> but surely. Uh, hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew um, McConaughey is here in town today, by the way. Actually, he's always here now. Um, so I went to school at Texas A&M. The university is pretty reflective of the demographics here in the U.S. Very, very low population of Asian Americans. I think when I attended, it was probably like two to three percent, so even lower. Uh, in our example, where we work for a software tech company, probably like three to four percent of the entire company. We were less than five percent. Yeah, less than five percent. And where did you go to school? I went to UW in Seattle, University What's of the Washington. What's UW? Is this UW? It's just the UW sign. Oh, UW, Dub. West Side. West Coast, Best Coast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> The reason why we're even talking about this is, um, I don't know, growing up Asian American, there's this weird like dichotomy, like you're growing up, at least for me, uh, here in America, mm. uh, I was deemed not American enough, 
but then you go back to Asia and you're not a, Asian enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just like this weird in between. And for a long time, I felt like suppressing my culture and hiding that part of my identity, trying to assimilate and be as American as possible. What does that really mean? Because I thought America was the melting pot. You know? Another trivia question. I'm gonna ask you and ask the people like, what percentage of the world population is Asian? Give me a percentage or a number. I would say we're, we're around 40% of the uh, world population. Actually, you know what? Pretty close. Yeah. Super, super close. Um, the current population of Asia is about 4.6 billion people. Oh. Right, and that equates to about 60% of the world population. Yeah, wow, 60, right? 60 more than that. Yeah, man, Yikes. so I don't know, like to me, that's another data point that brings a lot of perspective mm. for me, like, hey, like, you are actually part of the majority here in the world. The only other population that might be more than Asians is probably aliens. <laughs> they see. But I bet you didn't know this, that the largest and fastest growing tourism population is the middle class in China. Uh -huh. So we're coming, bro. I'll pop those stats somewhere around here. Prove myself. Point to my face. Last question. So here in the US, right? Yeah. We're the big, mighty, you know, bad boys of the world. Are we? Okay, my point. I'm asking. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. That's what people here in America think, huh. right? Um, let's do the numbers. Strictly, we're talking about population. No want people getting all triggered, talking about GDP and all these other garbage numbers. Um, what does that mean? It, yeah. <laughs> uh, what percentage of the world does the U.S. make in terms of population? Well, U.S. ranked third in the highest number of population in the world. Uh, how did I know this? Somehow, <laughs> history class. I did not prep this guy. No, no, I'm no. like, you're pulling numbers. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember this ninth grade history class, and it was like a right curve. I don't remember thing. anything from ninth grade. Yeah, I thought we were hitting 400 mil. Apparently, we just like around 300, 300 mil. Yeah, so, okay, right on. Um, so, what's that divided by, you said, 7 billion total world population? We still very small if you think about that. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we're probably 10%. No, 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 5%. Yeah, so using those numbers that you provided, yeah. right, I think we're sitting. I read 380 million, now online it says 329, mm -hmm. not sure. But the US population is really only 4% of the entire world. Wow. Right? Zoom. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like zoom. Tiny. That's, that's, that's us. That's oh, shit. Yes. Battery. <laughs> I'm blind. Okay, so uh, earlier, we actually ran out of battery. Uh, so Wynn and I were just like, okay, that's on me. What did we eat? I literally ate a whole cow. Ate a whole baby cow. No, we went to a Black Terry's. <laughs> <laughs> it's Terry Black. Right? We went to Terry Black's. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best barbecue joints like right. in Texas. A weight line. We took us half an hour just to, just to get to. Should have taken a video. Yeah. Um, we found a ice cream place. Ice cream place called uh, Prohibition Creamery, where you can have boozy ice cream. So it's infused Not bougie, with boozy. Boozy. It infused with alcohol. So it's it very dope. good. The, it v Vietnamese, the Vietnamese coffee one was amazing. Dope. Okay, man. Hey, appreciate your time. Of course. Last thing, is there anything you'd like to share with or tell our internet friends? What's going on? I would just like to, to tell you guys that turn off this video, shut off the internet. And just just go find a loved one and just ask them about what it's like where they were when they grow up. Just ask a simple question. What was your childhood mm. like? That's it. Shut shut everything down. No internet. And see what where, where it takes you. That's it. Also, don't be like me. I ate I ate barbecue, I ate ice cream, I got a slice of pizza. <laughs> I'm dying. This baby is coming to my stomach. Look how That's big this is. Look at my, look at my, look at my face. <laughs> look, look, it's bigger than my face. Uh, thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs>